Hey, everyone. <laughs> My ears finally popped. Oh, good. Your ears pop from the plane. No, from my allergies. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Some people so go on trips and then their ears pop and they go, oh, it finally happened. Guys, I had the worst allergy attack last night. Oh. I um, I have the most beautiful lilac tr tree oh, we in my backyard. I am. I'll, I'll put it up on the uh, community board later. But I don't want to go near it because it gets my... But I have the most beautiful <laughs> lilac tree right outside my master bedroom. And hey it guys. smells fantastic when the summer, uh, not the summer, but the spring breeze hits it. But the problem is my allergies go freaking nuts when I have my window open. <laughs> sure, everybody, though. My <laughs> throat was closing in last night. Everything was just awful. But it's the most beautiful purple lilacs I've ever seen in my life. And it makes me think of my grandma because my I live I live what, what was my um, grandma's house. And um I, I didn't pull a Doria, don't worry. But um, allegedly, but uh, but she, but I remember her loving those lilacs. Yeah, that was her Car favorite. Karen uh, and I were were uh, talking the other night, and she said, she, "This is crazy. Her birthday and our birthday is one day apart." Yeah, Jess. And dad's birthday is one day apart. Her daughter. Yes, yes, Jess. I know. So we gotta sing happy birthday to Jess right now. <laughs> Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Jess. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Well, we hope Jess, they're celebrating all weekend. Well, I thought we were going to do birthdays at the end, but we can do them at the beginning. No, but it's it also somebody else's birthday today. Yeah, but I, we, we were to save the, the boyfriend We're going to save last. that for last. Yeah, okay. we'll save that for last. But I wanted to give Jess special uh, uh, credit on that. Isn't okay. that bizarre, though? Could you imagine? We're, we're a day apart. Jess and dad are a day apart. Uh, well, bizarre. I, I hear that a lot of people have spring babies. That's like was the thing. Oh, okay. Spring oh, baby. Babies. What do you mean, like babies? Babies uh, uh, come out in the spring. I don't know. Okay, is so what's nine? Yeah, what's nine months I before the spring? I just heard that that's so when, when babies when, are born. When's the uh, the the procreation? <laughs> I don't know. Go back nine months. What's nine months I've never from been spring? Pregnant. <laughs> oh man. Uh, One, two, hi, honesty and truth. Three. Just to let you know, many of us here in the UK have not and will not stop to get answers about the, uh, well, you know. July, August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is bizarre. The, the summer months. I would net summer no, you go sticky on and hot. No, oh, you, you go, go on, on vacation. Vacation. vacation Your right. kids are out of school. It's true. Vacation. Yeah, no. Summertime's the best time to, to procreate. Yeah. You do go on vacation yeah. a lot. Thank you for answering that. Um, I don't think. <laughs> Check I don't, your you sheets know, guys, before you get in those hotel rooms. I don't think you guys should give up on it. I know I haven't. Oh, I mean, I know it's a taboo subject and we're not supposed to really talk about it, but it, I mean, even my mom who like doesn't really have a horse in the race, she even says like, she doesn't think, she, I, I don't know. I mean, what are you talking about? Megan being really pregnant. Oh yeah, I don't. Who cares? That's so inconsequential. The time to me. it's very consequential to me because, and yeah. the reason why. No, I hear what you're saying. The reason, the reason why is because yes, the line of succession. She, now you were. I had to cut it out the other day because we were running really late. Oh, you took some of my stuff out and my stuff. Yeah. Oh, well. And then, um, <laughs> okay, so I, you had made a good point. We don't think Megan ever wanted kids. I don't think Megan ever like set no, out no. to have children. She did not want children. I mean, there are just some women that don't. I mean, I don't really have a uh, want or need for children. I've always wanted kids, but I want to have a partner. Yes. So I'm never. Uh, I so probably you're not going to have kids. Ever. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I just don't think Megan wanted kids. Yeah. And of course, when you marry into the royal family, mm -hmm. you have to do it the line of succession, it was a big deal for Harry to have kids. So yeah. I just, I, I think the timing of her having the baby was so fast and her age was, was, I don't know. I mean, I don't know guys. It just seemed a little okay. fishy. And then your love from Texas, you just oh, came Trixie, from there. Yes. I oh, have, and you're my favorite conservative from Texas. <laughs> That's Tracy. I know. Tracy Smith <laughs> is my favorite conservative from Texas. All, all the conservatives in Texas. 
Well, are they? But they're not conservative in Austin. Have you noticed that? Hell they're no. very liberal. That's a very liberal city. It's a very uh, uh, progressive city. Yeah. A lot of people like to move there because of the progressiveness of it. It's very be, Portland. It's not. But um, it is. No, nope. I've been there. It's been. It's, it's very 70, Portland. It's not Portland. People say that they. But say, that's my opinion. I know. People say that they say keep Austin weird, and that was Portland's slogan. Nah. Did you go anywhere? I did. Yeah. And um, it's my second time there. Uh -huh. And the reason I don't think it's anything like Portland is, A, the uh, weather. Nothing like Portland. Well, no, Portland. I'm talking about the cons uh, conservative versus liberal. No, the, total uh, different progression versus. Different vibes. Different Capitalism. Vibes. No. No? Different vibes. I got I got it. No, yeah, different I got vibes. it. I capitalism. Love We're all capitalists. Well, I'm a, yeah, that's true. What I'm are you talking saying, about? You know, Liberals was, are capitalists. I was just saying yin from yang. What are you, not a capitalist? I'm not, you're liberal? I don't go, get political on this show, so no, no, I would no. never are tell you? you. I'm not going to get I, political, I and can, you're not going to trick me into it. That's not being political. Stephanie, you're a capitalist. <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? Like? You, you pay your bills. That's you, not, well, well, that's not true. You believe in... You that's, <laughs> that's not what all capitalism believes, and you're in a... Okay. There are people that, that pay their bills that aren't capitalists. Oh. Okay. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a liberal Texan. You know what? Every from Austin. <laughs> yeah. Are you from Austin? Yeah. I just love the city. Do you I know love what? The I people. There's, uh, I love the restaurants. I love the activities. I do you know fun. what else? Do you know what else I hear is a kind of a liberal town is Houston's turning into a liberal town. I have been there on a layover, but never overnight. Okay. So I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I would see know. conservative from Florida. Austin is a liberal bubble. That's what I was saying. Versus I know, Texas but when you come general, from Portland, it is a very liberal. Bubble. When you come from Portland, which is the liberal bubble mecca of the world, I mean, we are the OGs. But you of need to venture world. out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I did venture out. I've been to Austin twice. I went there. I didn't see any similarities with Portland and know. the people I, there. I, I, was I think there the for four days. I went out all the time, and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And the people there are just very much. Uh, they should be on the West Coast. It's hysterical. Yeah. See, I'm more of a centrist these days too so what's that austin became <laughs> yuck yeah i just i you know so i i forced myself to venture out but i just uh, i've spent most of the time in the hotel yeah i was <laughs> a liberal proof she didn't go out <laughs> i was a liberal from florida i just was, went independent most people are in the middle i think a lot of people and that the reason being is because uh the overton window has shifted Greatly, and if you do, and again, we're not going to get into that. But uh, the Overton window, look it up. Uh, I'll, shift I'll tell you this. I, I said this on on our last live. There's um, going to be less people telling you who they're voting for. I will not tell you who I'm voting for. Nancy's not going to tell you who she's voting for. It's. I think that it's going to be like um, just four years. Well, four years ago, people were saying it, weren't they? I could tell people who I'm voting for or not. I live in Oregon. No. I'm saying Biden's I don't think... going to get all our delegates. It's a blue state. No, I don't we don't talk... matter. If I lived in a swing state, I'd be like, who do you think I'm going to vote for, guys? But I, it doesn't matter. I just don't want to talk about it. Let's get on okay. to fun stuff. Okay. Let's get on to some culture, pop culture stuff. Yes, I did see that the Sussex Squad is merching Archie's birthday like they do every year. You know, it's interesting to me. How much money do they make? And what do they do with it? How does it? I, I need to look into that. They know it doesn't does, go into Archwell. Does anybody does anybody know the like if there's a link to that? Because all I saw was the invitation on Twitter. But is there like a link where you can find out uh, who or, or who set it up or what the charity is or how we can find out? Because I don't know. I get really nervous whenever they are involved with money. For some reason, I don't know. I I know I'm not saying the Sus Sussex Squad are bad people. I just get a little nervous when when Megan and anybody she's associated with is involved with money. I just I don't know. I love Pittsburgh. Is that what you're trying to say? Plantsburg is probably Pittsburgh. So if anybody can send me that, can anyone send me uh what the birthday is going to do and if there's a link to the charity or what they're gonna i don't know what the hell they're gonna are do. they gonna they're probably gonna do like a kardashian thing where they like build astro world but then all the money that they Catherine collect from it, it comes in from like you know yeah sponsorship money and then they yeah. pocket it but then they use it as sort of like a weird tax write-off yeah that's probably what's gonna happen yeah it's a kardashian life that they're yeah. living right now okay so 
Stephanie, you did. I should have. You should have sent me the tweet you did because that was the which one about Nacho. That oh was, no. Okay, so Nacho. This doesn't make any sense to me, you guys. Nacho <laughs> put up that he got some jam from Megan. Now, I don't know if this is weird or not, but he's got her side boob in this picture. Oh. It's a little suggestive. I don't know. It, and, and listen, he's trolling us with this picture because we're always saying that Harry is jealous of men pawing on Megan because Megan's so beautiful and sexy and all the men want her. <laughs> remember, remember in Netflix, she can read. Yeah, that's she's her. like the full package. That's she's her super, narcissism. Yeah, yeah, she's super smart. Yeah. And so that's a trolling picture right there. He would not have put that picture up, that bad picture up of Harry. He's got a sexy little side boob going on over there yeah. with Megan. And then very, very Kim Zolziak. Very Kim Zolziak. You don't know who that is. That's from Real Housewives. <gasps> Yay, Nancy. And then instead of just saying, your jam's great. I love this uh, soft launch. He goes, did I tell you I love your jam? He's trolling us. That's yeah. a trolling. Yeah. yeah. Because if you, listen, I'm not going to tell you, but if uh, Megan's mole brought this to my attention the other night, if you look up strawberry jam <laughs> in the urban dictionary, go Google it. Strawberry jam definition uber dictionary this is so gross if you do that it is inappropriate to say that it's com he's completely trolling us right now he's trying to get weird responses from us in their little sex cult. but isn't it great though because like allegedly isn't allegedly. it great though because like it means they're listening to us they're, oh, yeah. they're reading all our comments and i want everybody if, if you haven't seen this megan's mole put out a video on youtube uh i think it was yesterday or the day before but it's a it's a real short video but it sh it it she goes through and proves that megan is listening to the YouTubers. Totally. Great video. Put the description in that then at the I, end. I will send it. Uh, I so Megan Smoll came up with that. And Rusty Dollface brought it to my attention. So good on you. Good on you. She is listening. Well, you know why I think she's, she's reading all your comments right now. So everybody pick it up. Pick it up. Ke her friend, the Alliance of Moms thing, uh, <laughs> Kelly uh, Zyphen. Notice how I'm saying it differently. You know why? Because Kelly changed her uh, Instagram this morning to pronounce it correctly. Because yeah. I think a lot of YouTubers like me were saying Zayflin. That is a very good point. They're they're so, listening. Yeah, they're listening. Which is creeping me out a little bit. Okay, so let's see what Nacho put up to make the jam look appetizing and delicious <laughs> and make us really be jealous that we're not part of this soft launch yeah. and we're not getting the press box. What does he say too? I think he's I love your jam. He, said oh, he says I love your jam. He said okay, so he's saying the same thing. He says, I love your jam. What what a lot of people did I tell oh, you I love your jam? Yeah, and he says the same thing here. Did I tell you I love your jam? What I found. Sorry, do you want to bring that up real quick? Megan making birthday cakes, Archie cake for 50. That's, That's funny, funny, Steven. Steven. That's <laughs> funny. Good one. Um, you know what's interesting though? Um, the jar's full. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But it no, is. you're right. It is full. And there's two people in the room, but he's got two kids. So why is a jar full? Well, and Tam on uh Twitter had a really good point. Uh, why does he have number 10 when Tracy Robbins had number 10? Yeah, that's weird. Didn't Tracy Robbins, the head know. of the we class? Look into that she one. did. Or maybe are you sure it was? Or no, Delphina. wait, it was 17. It was Delphina. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Delphina had 17. Okay, Tracy Robbins had 19. So okay. why does Nacho get 10 and his know. wife gets 17? So, I don't know. I don't, you know, the numbers are so crazy. It's going to, eventually it's going to be some kind of pagan ritual <laughs> number thing that we're all figuring it out. Um, I'm not kidding. You'll I love see. that you guys chat over each other. Oh, Hilarious. You got to stop doing that. I apologize, Catherine. That's probably really annoying. It's hard for me. I to we told people yesterday after our show that um, lives are hard for me because I like to stay on a schedule. Stephanie likes to skip over what we're talking about and go to a different topic. And it, it's very confusing to the audience. But um, we're working on it, guys. We apologize. Anyways, um, do you want to tell them what you wrote on Twitter that made me I laugh? just said that Nacho is being rushed to the hospital for sur sur eh, I can't talk now. Uh, you silenced me finally. Um, no, I said Nacho is being rushed to the hospital for severe diarrhea. Harry is on his way to be by his side. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Nacho's family. That's all I said. And I thought it was, people liked it, I guess. <laughs> it is funny. But uh, as the, 
What was that thing that um what was that thing on Darcy Pinnell? Darcy, 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 Darcy Pinnell. And, Dave, and Dave was playing the uh fashion guy. Goes, oh, this is the thing. This is how um uh, uh Nacho describes her jam in the great Dave Foley voice. He goes, uh Darcy, it is a very simple yet a very painful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Nacho's describing the jam. Yeah. So good on you, kids in the hall. That's fun. It is very simple yet very painful painful okay. can i also say that again it's very confusing now i see where they put the strawberries in the beginning there but the problem is i'm confused because now it looks like raspberry jam so but i know it's strawberry jam but, uh, but uh, it just doesn't look good uh somebody put up oh i apologize for not saying your name i can't remember which one you got i have so many friends on twitter but um one of you put up the smuckers on white toast and butter yeah oh my god that reminds me of the time we would like go to sun river and we'd stop at like a elmer's or a denny's that made me so hungry yeah this... you're right the jam looks different to in another picture in previous pictures uh it's also the same plate and setup you're right i noticed that it is the same setup that uh delfina had here's this here's what it's he the did. same thing yeah. yeah they just no she had strawberries that's the wrong one with the green juice on the well, side well this is the other one he put okay so delfina had strawberries strawberries but that's that green puke juice you're right it's about. the same green puke juice i think she did have raspberries and remember we thought oh no she did she had strawberries and we she thought had, it looked like tomatoes yeah they look like tomatoes but, yeah um very unappetizing i can't wait a lot of you guys are saying fda i can't wait um for someone to actually push the fda thing what i believe is that this is the uh prequel wait is it prequel is last or first prequel is before first okay i think this is the pre prequel to the cooking show i think this yeah. jam's gonna fade away in the background i don't think it's gonna be sold i think it's a lot of work to get it fda approved yeah. michelle obama tried doing something like that and then she didn't get the fda approval so it just went away yeah what's happening now is that megan wants that cooking show to be highlighted because again her husband doesn't make any money. And She's not, Megan's not married to a prince. No. You know what I mean? She has to make her own money. I just wanted to show you, uh, because nobody, if somebody else got these press boxes of lemons and, and this one jar of weird looking jam, uh, they're not putting it up on their Instagram. So Megan is relying on their friends to recycle things. So Kelly Zeiflin put this up. I couldn't play the music because it was copywritten, but she put this up on her Instagram. I don't know if it was last night or today. Who, who is this? Kelly's, the hearts, uh, the moms. The mom, the mom's, mom's alliance. Scam. Mom's scam. So here it is. She is uh, grabbing. So there, there's the consistency of it. But it doesn't look like the consistency that we're well, used to. You know what? Ha uh, let me tell you what's going I, on here. Can I, can I no, say? Okay. I'm going to say it. Okay. This is crazy. That's not the jam. That is an open bottle of her bottle. Someone went down the, the street to get Smucker's raspberry jam and they put it in that bottle. That is the biggest bunch of crap. That is not the jam that she put on her toast of Delphina's toast. That's not the jam that it, we're used to seeing. It looks thick. It's Nancy, the jam. no, it's not. No, that's not even the same color. It's, it looks, it's it, not even it's the same color. I'm sorry. It looks runny and it looks no. very unappetizing. But you were saying it looks thick like chutney in the last it one. It does. The bottle makes it look thick. I'm no, not. No, no, no. I be, listen, that's my opinion. I believe that that, that jam is not made by Megan Mark. Paul, thank you. It looks thin and watery. Thank yes, you. Yes, that's you're what right. I said. The chutney looked thick like tomatoes chutney can look thick and still be thin and watery you're not understanding sauce okay. tomato sauce right, can be right. thick well, and that, thin and runny that looks lovely okay i'm saying it looks thin and runny yeah, it looks lovely I would and the that. reason why like smuckers is so good is because it's full of goody preservatives megan probably just put a bunch of strawberries in a pot that she got down at uh ralph's and it looks like or raspberry. costco everyone does say it looks like raspberries yeah, I don't know. Looks like Knott's Berry Farm Jam. Who says Another that? weird thing about having strawberry jam or even berries in general is having it your opening product is uh, my dad's allergic to strawberries. And I know a lot of people who are allergic to berries in general. Yeah. It's not a very popular fruit. You know, maybe start out with some uh, orange marmalade. Yeah. Maybe do that. I don't know. Or lemon marmalade, but since like, you're known for your lemons. But they're not selling this. This is a prequel to the show. It just looks disgusting. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that, so Kelly, she uh, threw a bone to Megan 
and said, here you go. I'm going to I'm going to do it right there. Let's see. Knox Berry Farm boysenberry is good. I've never tried it, but it sounds de delicious. I like Knox Scary Farm. <laughs> what do they have? <laughs> Freaking horrors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun rides too. You never been to Knox Scary Farms? I no. Oh. I meant what kind of jam do they have? At Knox Scary Farms? Yeah. It's all Halloween stuff. I know it was a joke. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so Megan decided she is not going to film her show <laughs> in her fourteen million dollar Montecito home. She's she's done with it. Hey, guess what, camera crews? You're not coming in. I'm gonna rent out a five million dollar house instead, and I'm gonna have Netflix do it. Megan Markle uses Montecito Philanthropist Kitchen as the set of her new Netflix cooking show instead of her own mansion, as production crews are seen lining property. Now, this is very, very common. A film permit application exclusively obtained by Daily Mail shows filming is taking place in two separate locations. On Tuesday, Megan, who recently teased the launch of, <laughs> who recently, no, it's been a month. It's been a month. She, this is not recent. This is, this is a disaster. Uh, teased the launch of ARO with a soft focus footage of herself arranging pink flowers and stirring something into a bowl. Spent the day surrounded by blooms of flora abundance. Oh, that's the place where she went. A florist. So what she's going to do is she's going to like also like arrange flowers. <laughs> On Wednesday, production trunks lined the, Dead flowers. the driveway of a $5 million property set in eight, eight, eight acres of avocado yeah, trees and lemon picture. groves in a gated community. And we have zip pictures. So this is the property, um, pretty nice for, for only 5 million in Montecito. I don't know where this property is. Now, I do know that this property was built in 2017 to people who are basically, they have a, 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 a portfolio, a, what am I, I wish dad, a real estate portfolio. So what I, what I reckon, what I guessed here is because this is very typical. Rich people do not stay in their main homes or like their coastal homes, their cool co coastal homes in the summertime. They all, and the spring, they all either go to Palm Beach or they go to uh, the French Riviera, Italian Riviera, or they go up north. Go that's just Hamptons, what they do. Yes, or point. they go to the Hamptons. Good point. Yeah, that's what they do. Nobody spends the summer months or the spring months as beautiful as it can get in Santa Barbara. Even when I went there in the summer, remember I went there for that wedding, Keith and Maureen's wedding? I've been there for a wedding too. If people said, well, it's so, so cool fun. there in the summer. It's still hot, guys. Nobody is there in the summer. You've got the tourists you want to get away from. You want to get away from this. Renting out your home makes sense. Now, nobody I have ever heard of, a production company, does their productions in the summertime, like Megan and Harry are doing theirs. That is when things are typically cheaper to rent. So that is why they're probably doing this now. It is a, it's a cheap rental. Go for it. They're not going to be home. These people are never home say, in the no summer. I was going to Palm Beach in the summer. I wasn't going to correct People it, go to Palm Beach. That's not true. People go to Palm Beach in the summer? You stay away from like Palm Beach. It's so hot. When do you go to Palm Beach then? During hurricane season. During the winter, you go really? to Miami. Okay. You go. You go during fall. That's just okay. Sorry, Miami. I. You know what? It's I, too hot. That's not true because if you go, go to the no, Hamptons. Okay, sorry. Everyone goes to the Hamptons. I want to say then. Let me. Let me. Martha's Vineyard. That's the, where you. The go. spring. Then you go to Palm Beach because I know that mom and dad right now they're they're down south in their Henderson house because they like the heat. People who get older who have arthritis like to be in Arizona and Nevada. They don't like to be in California. Why do you go like this? You can't get away from me. It's like, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> guys, what do you think? Uh, who cares? But anyways, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, this is a picture that I found interesting. All these production trucks uh, have lined in. Can I give my two cents on this real quick? Because I really, I knew she wasn't going to use her kitchen, but I only get interested. 
You can tell, I mean, I only get interested in something if, especially a reality cooking show, I only get interested in, in something if it's real. Like Barefoot Contessa, she uses her kitchen. She's always on the beach holding hands with her husband. You know, I get to see her life. The problem with this and why it's going to fail miserably, not just because Megan's uh, name is all over it, it's because it's fake. It's like, it's like, it's being filmed in a studio. I want to see your kids. I want to see your stove. Nancy and I, listen, Nancy, and I, this is my kitchen. This is my actual kitchen. This is my sister, Nancy. So that's my twin sister. This is, we fight all the time. Then we make up, we love each other. We have battles. We show it to you all. But at the, but, but I don't think uh, us being in someone else's house faking it the whole time I know you know what I mean and going like delicious dish and going oh I agree with everything you're saying Nancy I think you're the most beautiful person in the world well, I always said I think this, you're so amazing I always said this in the that beginning work. I said the second that we start like scripting the show yeah or if we if we talk about the show before, that's the second that we're going to, our audience isn't going to want to be around us. Well, because, that's enough. Yeah. See, everyone says, I agree. People want to sh see her in her kitchen. It's more personal. I Even pers Oprah does that. I personally am not going to watch a cooking show if it's not done in your own personal kitchen. And enough with the, we need privacy crap. You're either lying about living in Montecito and my... Okay, let's not do that. Someone just mentioned it. Okay. No, you you need to be in charge of the mouth. Parch parchment paper. Parchment paper. Yeah. Good. That's it, dude. Yeah. Uh, you need to be in charge of your little no, comments. No, someone mentioned but it. But I'm saying, you're right. Someone said Culver City. Maybe she should do it in the Culver City apartment. It might be easier. Listen, I hey, allegedly you... don't think she lives in that Montecito. That's office. what I'm saying. Yeah. She either doesn't live there... It was rented out for whatever reason because she needed it for that Easter Netflix part where she goes, which bridge do you want to put the eggs under? Should we go to the north northeast corner of the house? Or should we, you she know, didn't it's like say that. no, but I'm just saying. Well, <laughs> no, I, I know, know that's she funny didn't though. Say it, though. That's man. funny though. The northeast part of that. See, I could say right now, you're playing too much with your hair. I know. Sorry. <laughs> but it's there's that 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 thing that Nancy and I said. We started this channel because we love we love the queen and we thought what was happening to her was being unfair. We also started this channel because we love animals. We also we we say our last name, we show our parents in this for yeah, God's yeah, sake. We're know. They transparent. Know. Megan is not going to show her kids. Well, the, she's not going to show her husband. The, the other, she's not going to show Doria. The other thing is I don't believe that Megan has a huge orchard. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I don't think her backyard has yeah, an orchard no, like this. Yeah. Like, like, where is she harvesting these strawberries? I mean, I know California is known for their strawberries, but where is she harvesting these strawberries? There is absolutely no way that she has had time. Strawberries are done in season. Well, no, no, they, they start in March in California. I looked it up. Right. They're not in season right now. Well, it's April. So March, you can start harvesting them. Right. March, April. It's but so you but she able... just put out 50 strawberry jams. Where'd she get the jam? I don't know. She harvested them last month and she sent them this month. So you can harvest it in April? March. That's what I just... Let's look at the months. March is okay. before April, right? No, I know. I get okay, it. So... I just feel like it's all a scam. Sorry. I just can't see her uh, harvesting anything in, in her... Uh, her balcony on Culver City. I just can't do it in Culver City. So it was really nice of Megan and Harry or Netflix or whoever to leak this person's address. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who did it. Megan's mole was not happy about that. She doxxed her. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, like I said, these people, I'm sure they're fine. They look like they bought that house in 2017 because they have grown adult children. So it wasn't like that was the family home. Mm -hmm. They bought that house as a investment. That's what a lot of people do with their money. Uh, you know, property is a very good investment. It makes sense. And like I said, nobody, nobody who lives in California stays in California during the spring and summer months. It's a, it's yeah, just a to, nightmare. They go to Palm Beach. You know, but you know what I mean. It's just no, no they crowded. go to Palm Desert. <laughs> it's, it's too crowded. 
yeah. it's too it's too crowded too crowded so it's this like, this lovely little couple they uh they did not learn. I, know. And I also don't like the elder elder abuse stuff again this is obviously, obviously an older couple no 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 Listen. no no it is Come on. she Listen. preys on rich older people and if you think that she does you, you think, think this is the first time they've rented that house out to, to a production company i just feel like she preys on the rich elderly that's what i do okay. I, that's my personal these opinion. people are making money Good for them. I hope they do. I hope they squeeze every penny out of Netflix because Netflix is banking on the wrong horse. Oh gosh, Culver yeah. City. Yeah, that's like me, Culver City in the house. For all I the love Culver City mentioned Col vlogs, you guys. Get this week. Culver City is uh, one of the best places. Again, I'll say it is close to everything. It's close to the studios. It's close to Venice Beach. It is close to every freeway. I mean, it is the mecca. So it would not shock me in the slightest bit if they were not living in an apartment in Culver City. It's a lot better than living in a stuffy mansion, you in know, Montecito. in Montecito yeah. with a bunch of people that uh, yeah. have to be around back grade 24 hours a day for Megan. So this is the um, uh, red, I think this was Redfin, right? Um, what is this? This is just uh, what what the couple bought the house for in 2017 and what it's worth now. Like oh, I said, it definitely looks like just an investment property. Uh, they probably spend the fall there. Yeah. Maybe Christmas in Aspen. And we also that's have, just the kind of people, that's what yeah, people, okay. Californians do. But we also have to remember, guys, the Oprah interview Thank was you, not on her yeah. turf. Yeah, it was supposedly at Gail King's house. <laughs> Why not Megan's? Because Megan do probably doesn't really know. Thank you. Allegedly. 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 Um, okay. So let's look at what they have to say about the cooking show. Now, this is the Home and Garden Channel's little uh, rag that I'm going to read from. Megan Markle is officially going to be Netflix's newest cooking show host. Along with the release of American Riviera Orchard, the Duchess of Sussex is on her way to becoming a queen of all things lifestyle. This is, we talked about this like maybe three weeks ago. This is an oversaturated market. Okay. It doesn't work anymore where Martha Stewart or Barefoot, Jessica Simpson, you cannot just come out and say, I want to have a lifestyle show. I'm going to do cooking, gardening, flower uh, arrangement. Yeah, do it. it a D, what is that? DIY? Do it yourself. Yeah, DIY yeah. stuff, all that stuff. Because we have this thing called the internet now, and yokels like us, anybody can just can. make their own show. And if you're not likable, if you're not trustworthy, People aren't going to tune into you. And, and Megan already has a reputation of nobody trusting her. Who is going to tune? Who's going to sit down and <laughs> watch not. a half hour? Hopefully it's not an hour, but a half hour Netflix show. Yeah. Who's going to sit their booty down? You tell listen, me. Listen, if I was doing so, I listen, the untapped market is the way to go. And what's world. untapped? Untap. That's what I'm saying. You got to figure it out for yourself. What, yeah. You got to make it your own. There, the there, were, there were no twins talking about Megan and Harry. So we were <laughs> li liberal twins. Yeah, I liberal. bet there are twins out there talking about Megan and Harry. But yeah. I'm just saying you got to find that untapped, untapped market. market because if you don't, you're going to fall down the rack. So listen, she's already down. This okay. is ridiculous. But I really want to thank Better Homes and Gardens for writing this. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is adding cooking <laughs> show host to her list of accomplishments. What's that list? Can anyone tell me what that list is? What has she done? She did the uh, soap dishwasher commercial. No, no, no. She did the podcast that failed. Podcast failed miserably. And the uh, the head of the no, the head of the company called her a grifter. Yeah. Pearl, which we're going to do a reaction video to uh, Tim Dillon making fun of Pearl. Pearl. It is going to get, hate, Liz is saying it's going to get hate watch numbers. Now, uh, I agree with you. People are going to be interested in this, but it's going to end up like the podcast. Nancy hate watch it or hate listen to the podcast, but it never made the transition onto YouTube. Did you see that? It never made that transition. We did listen. But then it got too much. And this is the other problem, guys. You've got us and you've got Sue Smith. Not just Megan's, us. Yeah. Real Housewives recaps. You've got you've got Sue Smith. You've got everybody 
that are going to watch this Netflix show for you. We're going to filter out all the dumb stuff and we're going to give you the highlights every single day. That's what's that's what people are going to watch. And that's what's going to kill her because she's it's a public thing and she's going to try to monetize uh everybody's channel after that but it's yeah. not gonna work no that's what, but kim has an interest interesting point the hate numbers we have to remember it's not going that you're right we'll listen to it nancy will wake me up at four o'clock in the morning and go did you hear this you know She's but you guys you guys are too smart did you see have you seen nancy who's the sugar look at her yeah, I don't get any sleep. She I'm constantly sleep. looking for stuff. She's constantly looking. Let her do it. Who's the sugar, okay. Tom? Guys, who's the sugar in the chat? Nancy's clearly not as bright as you guys. <laughs> or doesn't have a life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she could listen to it. Yeah. You guys don't give her numbers. Do not. Let's not even do hate numbers. My, my parents like Netflix, so that's why we still have Netflix. I don't even watch Netflix anymore. Yeah, but just look at the Kardashians, guys. I mean, people would hate watch them, but now people they don't do it anymore. They can't watch it to save their lives. Like it's awful. It's unwatchable. You just wait for us to watch it. It's like it's like in just like that on HBO. Listen, they start getting uh, Che Diaz in there. No one's going to watch that crap, but you and I are going to complain about it once a week. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can like listen I said, to that. Don't, don't or uh, listen to if, Jen. If you don't have a subscription to Netflix, you don't need one. You've got a million of us that are going to cover this show, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it, and it's going to be great. And you know what, Megan? If you want to stop us from doing it right now and you want a peaceful life, you can apologize. Let's just apologize. Just apologize, and we'll go away. Just apologize for we've, lying we've and, and to apologize to an, the elderly for taking advantage yeah, of that's them. That's all you have to do. do. And, and let you and, you know what? Let Harry go. No, that, let Harry. No, because Harry made his bed. Okay, Megan, let apologize to the royal family for for doing what you did. Apologize to Princess Catherine for lying about her. Apologize to King Charles for lying about him. Right. Apologize for going on Oprah the week that Prince Philip was in the hospital. Yeah, we and making up crap. Yeah, we're gonna do okay. That Why don't you do that? Apologize for all that. Apologize for acting like a. Apologize for getting mic'd up during the Queen's funeral. Yeah, it'll, it will all go away. Huh? Uh, it will go away. Do you know what I mean? If she apologizes. Because everyone has a re redemption story. Yeah. Look at Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Apologize. Just apologize. Yeah. And then adopt some dogs. There you go. Do you know what I mean? Start a charity that you can adopt dogs. Yeah. And, and, okay. and cats. Everybody says apologize in the comments. Yeah. So. We'll go away. I promise. I'm. I'm telling you. I'm giving you my word. You apologize to them, and you, you say, admit what you did I was, was wrong. I was. You're right. A narcissist will never apologize. No, no, no. I'm just saying. If she wants God, us to go away, do... people say, "Well, why are you doing this? Just let it go." She lives rent free in your head. No, that's what she wants. The she, she wants, wants it us to go squad. away. She wants us ex squad to tell us things like that, so then we'll feel bad and go, "Wow, we really don't have a life." Oh, man, we do look like pathetic losers coming on here every day, hating on this woman that did nothing to us. No, because then you want us to forget what she did. We're not going to do that. Like, you, do, I, do you understand what happened? Do you remember the Oprah interview? We weren't doing this until that happened. I was fine with her till the Oprah and interview. And the Netflix show. Totally fine with and her. And the Netflix show. Totally fine. You had to put colonialism and talking about that when and a picture okay. of the queen at the same spare, time. But we could go on about God. this forever. Okay. Yeah, apologize. Apologize for spare. Apologize we'll to everyone. We'll talk about the Kardashians. And we'll let on. it go. Let it go. We got uh and just like that season three coming up. We yeah. don't need you. Just apologize. Yeah. But until you do that, and guess we're, and we're guess going guess anymore. what, Megan? Princess Catherine's eventually coming back. Yeah. Our content will explode. Yes. And you'll be picking your strawberries. Yeah. And whatever strawberry fields fields. <laughs> strawberry fields forever. All right, guys. Okay, so African parks. Wow. Yeah, let's do this real quick. Guys, this thing isn't going away. Um, 
uh, pressure on Prince Harry after new torture claims hit African charity. This is what blows my mind. Last week, he's talking about this Sentabali thing and how much he loves Africa and Africa's yeah, in his heart. Yeah, I played the video with Jen. Yeah, he just loves it. It's the greatest thing ever. And he has not even made a comment about this. Yeah, you we know, talked about this This is life. the worst thing, Harry. By being silent on this, this is probably one of the worst things you have done in your life. The Duke of Sussex is likely to face pressure to step down from the board of the. When is this? He didn't. I he thought didn't. he did step down. I, Don't sorry, you think we would have covered that. Yeah, but for some reason, I thought that I thought he did. Sorry. The Duke of Sussex is likely to face pressure to step down from the board of an African conservation charity after new allegations of abuse carried out by its armed rangers merged, including the use of torture and method known as the swing. I will put that article, it's a long article in the description below if you guys want to read it. The uh, African Parks made a statement and they said, well, the people writing this are biased. Wait, what? They're biased. They don't want us chopping down their trees and taking them, but they don't want us conserving the land for them. What? Yeah, they're 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 just like, trust me, they're they, ignoring they it. They have an agenda. Of course they, they have do. an agenda. What's their agenda? I have no idea. That's <laughs> I what thought you were on something No, here. that's what the article says <laughs> what's at your, the end. What's your theory? Uh, they don't have an agenda. I can't imagine what their agenda is. No, but, everybody um, has an agenda. Okay, well, I don't know what Survival International's agenda is. Yeah, I got to look be. into that. Uh, but Harry, they said that after the article that they asked Harry for comment, of course, he said nothing. Poncho Sussex in the house. Whoop, whoop. Uh, okay, so let's get to Stephanie's story. She is so my story? excited about what this is story. It? What is it? <laughs> Are you kidding I've me? I've got two today. I want to. Oh, this one. I thought we were doing Taylor Swift. Sorry. That's tomorrow. I, for, but you said, yeah, I thought we were just doing lyrics or something. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we're going to do the other stuff. It's okay. We could tell them that. I know, but it's okay. But you we're doing two confused. lives. Yeah. Uh, yes, I love this. It says, uh, Royal Prankster hijacks Meghan Markle's lifestyle brand and redirects to site for rival King Charles's jam. Now, this story is so great. Whoever thought of this, I'm jealous. People are saying it was Lady C. Good. I and hope some it people were saying it was uh, Dan Wooten. I hope it was. Whoever, Whoever did this is I'm jealous. So, oh, man, I wish I could be that smart. I have to start taking initiative and just going <laughs> with what my brain <laughs> Is this what your brain told you? I, I mean, I bet you I could have come up with something like this. I have well, to just that's start. That's very arrogant of you. No, but no, let's no, give but credit to whoever, whoever did, it, did yeah. this. Whoever did this, come out because you will be celebrated but, but uh, uh this is brilliant this is brilliant so a this royal prankster appears to have spread some mischief after buying a similar donate domain name to megan markle's luxury lifestyle brand and redirecting to a weight rose page for king charles's rival jam just a day after the independent revealed one version of the american riviera orchard site leads to a food bank this paper has spotted a further variation of the site name cheekily directing to dutchy organic strawberry jam but that's not all guys that's <laughs> not all that happened okay but i love this because megan markle single-handedly is responsible for that jam being sold out Thank you, Megan. And it all goes to charity. As as Taylor Swift says, thank you, Amy. I'm going to say thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. You are re what? It's just funny. Well, it's funny. <laughs> I think it's so brilliant what they did. Okay, so somebody else was even like this. This to me was, was even better. Okay, so somebody bought the domain name American Riviera Orchard UK. So Megan has the American <laughs> one, but she was so stupid. She didn't get it all Let's over. See, I'm sorry, happened. allegedly stupid. Mm -hmm. She was so silly that she did understand. not buy, I mean, she didn't buy all the domain <laughs> across the world, the global domain. Right. But she's so global. <laughs> but she is. She's so global. People do think Lady C bought it. I think Lady C bought the Sussex I UK. Hope she did. Oh, the that Sussex UK site. That's smart. That's a smart one too. But whoever's doing okay. this, so there is an. So when you type in American Riviera Orchard, and let's say you're at, uh, if you just go UK, like you're in the UK or whatever, uh, this is what it goes to, and it says forgiveness permission. Please donate to the trust Trussell Trust. 
Now we will see what that is. Uh, don't worry, it's made more than that. That yeah, was yeah. last night. That's a screenshot from last this night. This is so great, guys. Fundraising for the Trust Trussell Trust. It was a, yeah, it is over 17. I have the screenshot of it. It's so great. And this is, we are working to end the need for food banks in the UK. Wonderful. And I love how it has all the information. This is what I love. You can go and you can uh, like see their number, their charity number, their verified. Everything is on the up and up. This is what's great about our side versus Megan's side. And Who's then they tell in here, what is this? What is it? I said someone's singing in here. Lisa's singing. Griff, Griff, you're gently down the stream. Megan, 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 hustle is your game. That's a good one, Lisa. <laughs> Bravo. Okay, this is not Megan, but hopefully Megan wouldn't mind. Thoughts with Catherine, Princess of Wales, and His Majesty the King. Please note the purchase of the American Riviera Orchard.uk domain name and this Just Giving page are the full extent of this exclusively charitable mission. Someone else is flogging the tea towels. I don't, what does flogging mean? Like, look it up. I know, I, should I don't know what that means. I'm sure, I'm sure our you guys friends are going to say it in second. about two seconds. What does <laughs> flogging mean, guys? I don't have to look it up on my phone. What is flogging? Can we even say it? Oh, yeah. Is that a bad the word? The Trussell Trust. Our vision is for the UK without the need for food banks. We say this because it's not right that anyone can afford, cannot afford. Stephanie, I can't do that while I'm reading. We, we say that this is because it's not right that anyone can't afford their own food. That's why they are working towards a just, compassionate future where no one should have to use a food bank to get by. That's so true. Our vision is ambitious, but we know that we if we work together, it is possible. We can create a future where nobody goes hungry because nobody will allow it when we work together for change. So, so true. Thank you, Trust. trust you know what? I'm not British. I can't do it. Or Canadian. Give it up. He's British. No, Trust, everybody's Trust. saying uh, flogging is selling, peddling something. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very you got much. got it. Now we know what flogging means. Yeah. That's... Did, did they say in the olden days, I'm going to flog him? And then that meant like kill him or something? I thought it was, I'm going to give him a flogging. Flogging. Or maybe that's something else. Maybe it is something oh. else. I don't know. Duh. We should probably watch Spam a lot again. We're just we serious. Know. We're uh, silly. That's a great, great musical. Silly Americans, aren't we? Always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. do. Okay, so oh, thank you very much, um, Megan. Stupid uh, strawberry kicker. Yes, yes uh, worth the comment for yeah. sure. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so I got to give Megan credit. After like you know, you know, Miss, Miss Peaches is well over a million. Vlogging also means beating. We were right. Oh, okay, good. We were right. See, I thought I was going crazy, but I yeah. <laughs> so it means a lot of things. A lot of things. <laughs> okay, so American Riviera Orchard, I checked. Uh, she must have had somebody give her a couple more dollars because she was able to buy uh, some more bonds. Yeah, exactly. She's over 600. Good for you, Megan. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing amazing, it's, sweetie. It's amazing. It's working. You're yeah. really, you're really getting in there. Miss wow. Peaches has 1.2 million, I mean, but you you're got just amazing 600. And you know what? Miss Peaches is is just some uh, uh, dog in Florida. She's wonderful. That only 50 percent of Americans know of. Well, now 100 percent. But you're a global superstar, Megan. She's a global Why? global feminist. She's a global feminist. Why do you only have 600k? That's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's a good question. Yeah. Nancy. So I saw this. Um, I'm going to put this link in there. Stephanie and I have already given, but um, uh, we'll probably give again. This is just such great. I mean, anytime you can help feed the um, the house list, this is definitely something we want to get involved with. So uh, 17,000, over 17,000 pounds. Good job, guys. Good on us. Oh, that's for later. Okay, you wanted to show this Prince William clip. Yeah, oh yeah, I wanted to Stephanie show this Stephanie is so quick. excited about this. I just saw this uh, the other day. I apologize to people that cannot hear very well. I can't either, but I tried to get the transcribe of it, but it, it, she she says it's, uh, I know it's out there, guys. Just tell us what he it. says. What happens is uh, this woman at the food 
uh, distribution center that he went to go visit, this woman gave two cards and one was for the king and one was for uh, Princess Catherine. And then at the very, you can see his emotion, obviously. And then uh, the woman at the end goes, please take care of our princess. And he said, I will. Thank you so much. So let's show this video real quick. I'm so sorry that we don't have the thing, but that's what she says to him. Okay. Did you see when, when, you know, he sort of just, because that's emotional because he put his hand, I just want everyone to know, he put his hand on her comforting her. So when your wife has cancer and you're the, the, um, Prince of Wales and she's a princess, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to start comforting other people. Um, but just, just her kindness and then his reaction to say like, please take care of our princess. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I just love that video so much. It's so sweet. He's such a good person. He really He's is. Make such an amazing. And you know what? I'm so sick of the Sussex squad out there saying things like, Oh, he just seems like he's really irritated when he gets cards for his wife. You know what I think? I think that his wife probably doesn't have cancer or the king doesn't have cancer. And that's why he shows so much irritation in his face. That's, yeah, that's not it. it. Good job, guys. The reason why he's showing crack. emotion is because his wife has cancer and his dad has cancer. And he gets that all day. You don't think you don't think people are coming up to him? Tom Cruise coming up and going, man, I am so, you know, are you okay? Are you okay, man? Tom Cruise so, saw him at the emergency helicopter thing after King Charles came out with his diagnosis. You really think Tom Cruise didn't go, I'm thinking about you, man. We covered it. That's, no, but I'm just saying, yeah. it, you get it all the time. Yeah. You're going to start showing emotion. Yeah. People were very kind to him at the BAFTAs as well. Very kind. Yeah. So, um, okay. So we're we, sick of the Sussex. Squad. We didn't get to Harry's citizenship today. So we'll get it to our live tomorrow. Get to his citizenship. Stephanie and I have a great, <laughs> a great show. I for wanted you to tomorrow. do something real quick. On no, my... well, you're not. We're just going to end, with, not? Gonna end with Miss Peaches. No, I want to do my cousin real quick. I, I know that we're ending the show with, with him. I just wanted to show. Oh, you just said Miss Peaches. I know, but that's going to then go at the end. So. You just said we're ending it with no, Miss Peaches. No, no, That's going to be the last thing we're going to Guys, did she know. just say we're ending it I with apologize. Miss Peaches? I apologize. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Like I, I said, Stephanie, sure. Stephanie's always invited to the, the meetings before the show when I get the writer's show ready. Room. The writer's room. She always declines. So here I is was. Something. I was going to say it. And then you said we're ending the show with Miss Peaches. And I hope that we can Okay. Mention. Why don't you talk about it? Okay. Then. You can talk about it. Guys, I am very uh, proud to say, and I know uh, we're very family. This is just for people in portland though no it's for everybody i am a I, i'm italian we have a big italian family and i'm very uh proud my cousin jason bonfilio has been written up in Willamette weekly for one of five out of portland pizzas parlors that feed the stomach and the soul so that's basically portland's favorite pizza restaurants Let's go to the uh, next we're one so, here. We're so we're proud, so of, proud him. of him. It says, tucked away on a slopey corner in Portland Heights, Vista Springs is the most secluded. Tell that's the name of it. The Vista Springs is the name of the restaurant. It says, Vista Spring is the most secluded location on this list. It's part of its charm. It's the perfect spot to have a quiet dinner to celebrate a wedding or a graduation. Meat and veggie pizza options are plentiful and are homemade focaccias and garlic knots. Yum. Yay. And that's my cousin's uh, restaurant, Vista. I just wanted to give a shout out to him and say we're so proud of you, Jason, to get written up like that and uh, to be put, to be on that, that list. Because yeah. I'm telling you, listen, if anyone's been to Portland, we are a foodie was city was sizzle pie on that list i know it wasn't but okay. i'm saying this city is very foody snobby yeah. city we are food oriented so bow Here's my cousin says, please talk and keep talking about lady c book we are we are we, we just said that um That's so funny it's it's our fault we haven't talked about it that much is because a we're trying to get lady c on the show and b we need to read the book so um it, th that is coming but uh good point good point uh, we, we just talked about it two seconds before we went live. We yeah. said, I said, Nancy, we should read the book. 
Um, but that's so funny. Yeah, way to go, Jason. Yay, Jason. Jason Bonfilio. Bonfilio. That's my mom's maiden name. That's my middle name, Bonfilio. So if you're ever in Portland, go to Vista Springs Cafe. The best pizza, I say. I like I it. I don't think he's part of the five. I, I think like he's it. number one. Yeah, I know. I think in he's my number mind, one. I mean, I make the best pizza. But yeah, if you had to talk about restaurants. But aren't you proud of Jason? <laughs> no, I'm very proud. Yeah. So okay. I just wanted to put that in. So here's your weekly, cousin love. Here's your weekly Miss Peaches fix. If you guys don't have Instagram or Twitter and you can't see these videos, uh, I just wanted to share it with you because we love Miss Peaches over here. Come on, Peaches. New hotel room for you to discover. I know, here we go. Here we go, Peaches. I am. I look, this is. Oh, Peaches. Look what they got over here, Peaches. Look. When you wish upon a star, this Peaches. makes no difference who you are. Oh, they are getting the star treatment for an absolute queen. Oh, Miss Peaches, they all love you. Oh, I mute that. That's that's gonna yeah. Be we're gonna that's now. gonna be copywritten. Are we on right now? Kind of like a gift to me, but a gift. I didn't know that. David, Miss Peaches. From Taylor made Dave and Miss Peaches, we know you enjoyed the Masters as much as we did. We did, Peaches. We won 1.3 million treats. We made a special bag to commemorate the big win in Miss Peaches. We hope you can find a spot in your office and bring a smile to your face. What? I thought it was a golf bag. It is. Hold on, Miss Peaches. Oh, Miss Peaches, look at this golf bag. Ooh, Miss. Holy moly, Miss Peaches. Oh, Miss Peaches, look at this golf bag. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh, Miss Peaches. What are you doing in there? Are you up to Naughty Girl stuff? Why are you in the plants peaches huh i turn my eyes for one minute and you, you go into the plants oh you gotta do a bath i see you looking at me we gotta do the bath i'm sorry peaches I, where are you going hey Hey, get back here. I see you looking at me. Peaches. Hey. Sorry. You gotta, I know. Oh, Peaches. Okay, I ended with the latest video, but it's very important that you hear who's singing in the background because that's going to be our show tomorrow. Uh, Taylor you Swift. Too, please don't hear it. I am not <laughs> a, a Swifty. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. I heard my first Taylor Swift song 
However, yesterday, Stephanie made me listen to it because Dave Portnoy was losing his What'd mind. What'd you think? It was really good because it was about Kim Kardashian. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. We have clips from the Kardashian episode that Kim Kardashian and her family railed against Taylor Swift. So we're going to show you guys what happened to make Taylor do this because right now look there's, what you made me do. There's a lot of people wondering like why did Taylor do this to begin with? Well, we've got the scoop, we've got the story. We were there for it. We were the OGs for it originally. Dave Portnoy and was Dave, right the whole time. And he's got clips proving that he was into it as well. So that is what we're going to do tomorrow. It will be the whole show, guys, but we have the uh receipts. Yeah, today's animal rescue is Ender Dog Heroes rescue these guys recently uh took a sweet little english bulldog that had really bad mange and uh rescued it it needed medical attention asap and it was going to be put down so we want to give some extra love to underdog heroes rescue they are literally heroes but guys i just i'm reading some of the comments saying i'm not a swift you know swift yes at noon uh, I'm a Swifty. I'm not. I know because we're, we're doing. I'm not. We're doing Saturday shows, which is not as a uh, big deal to you guys. I know a lot of people go out on Saturday nights, so we're not getting the numbers. But Sunday, yes, we're doing it again on noon. So we'll do two lives uh, per weekend. But our usual live is on a Sunday, though. Yes, Saturdays we sort of go yeah. hit and miss, you yeah. know, because we're you know you, you guys don't have anything you, to do. You guys have you guys have, have lives. I think the people in the UK have lives. They're all out partying right yeah. now. But I'm saying, um, anyone who's you don't have to be a Swifty to appreciate this story. Kim Kardashian yeah. has been bullying Taylor Swift, like the uh, mean cheerleader bullying uh, the girl in high school, but and also, finally Taylor Swift has. Uh, her revenge song and, and it's beautiful and we love it's Taylor beautiful. we love Taylor too because she is a monarchist and she loves the royal family she's been with Prince William we she have, adopts we have video of that as well and we um let's remember the Grammys what mm -hmm. Taylor wore it was a tribute to Princess Catherine she did that on purpose she right. wanted to give a nod to Princess Catherine she wore the exact same but, outfit but also I just I listened to the song thank you Amy about 40 times yesterday I was just blasting it in the house and I was just thinking to myself this is such a universal song for getting back at the person who has been bullying you and I was picturing Princess Catherine on her walk today or tomorrow morning, listen, blasting Thank You, Amy, with her head a little bit higher because you know what? You could try to break me down, but it's not going to work. Yeah. Watch this. So applaud Taylor Swift and uh, Dave Portnoy for uh, bringing so much yeah. awareness to adoption. To adoption. Yeah. Well, guys, it's been great. Thanks for sticking with us as long as you have. We will see you tomorrow at noon. West Pacific. Coast. Pacific Standard Time. And then 3 o'clock East Coast. And then 8 o'clock GMT Greenwich time. means time. Yes. So we love you guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know how to kiss. You got to kiss.